What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video by yours truly, the Knights of Horror. Today we're talking a little bit of the HHN update. Today, as of this recording, we got some new scare zone announcements for HHN 2019 in Hollywood. I'm going to share all the scare zones that they announced and break them down and give a little description as to what they provided to us and give my thoughts about what I think about these new scare zones. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Welcome to the Madhouse! <laughs> what down my boat? So today we got five new scare zones announced for HHN 2019 in Hollywood and people were blowing me up on social media about this. Uh, people were talking about it on social media. Uh, Horror Nights even uh, commented in a little bit of what we're going to be seeing at the event, what's returning to the event and uh, stuff like that. So I'm going to read you all the um, names of the scare zones and we are going to talk a little bit about that and a little bit of description about them. I'm putting up the images as each scare zone I'm talking about so you can get a visual of what uh, potentially they're going to look like and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, by the way, before we even go further, if you hear some like fireworks in the background, I did film this like on the 3rd of July and people do it around my neighborhood so don't worry about it. Anyway, first one was going to be called Fallen Angels. Now the description goes, explore crypts packed with restless ghouls and escape angry skeletons that have taken over Main Street. If you think the age statues are creepy, wait until you encounter the wraith who will literally who will be literally watching over you. You can also spread your own demonic wings while you while you're here, but be sure not to antagonize the angel of death. So the picture looks pretty cool. It looks like kind of something from Doctor Who where they had the statues where if you blink they kind of moved and stuff like that. It looks like it's a statue that's possessed of some sort and they're all green, kind of like the Statue of Liberty and stuff like that. And I'm really excited to see what this is going to bring. This is going to be on the main street as you walk into the park for Halloween Horror Nights um, and I'm excited to see what they bring to life with that one. The next one is called Spirits and Demons of the East and the description goes as follows. Um, sacred antiques have just been shipped from shipped over from the Far East and they don't come alone. They didn't come alone. Many of these artifacts were stolen from ancient temples and carry angry spirits with them. Now the spirits roam New York Street looking to exact vengeance on anyone who will dare steal such sacred relics. Be careful out there, these powerful demons can look like anything, even innocent school children. So this one's going to be pretty cool. Um, this one... This one looks like it's going to be a more Japan uh, Chinese kind of themed one which I'm really excited for especially when they're talking about the East and stuff like that this will go back to like ancient uh, Japan and ancient uh, China and stuff like that and the really the art for it looks really cool I'm really looking forward to seeing what they can bring to life for this one this is gonna take place after you enter the park after you do the first uh, fallen angel scare zone the New York Street scare zone in front of Parisian courtyard this is gonna take place right there so that's gonna be pr pretty cool the next one is Christmas in Hell and this is going to be the ending scare zone the last part of the uh, Holidays in Hell maze like they did last year with of course Universal's Monsters where you walked out and it was another scare zone. This is going to be that. This one's called Christmas in Hell and the description goes as follows. You'll likely feel a faint sense of relief as you exit the Holidays in Hell maze, but it won't last long. Uh, na navigate through the Christmas trees uh, littering French Street and make your way through the our twisted takes on many uh, holiday traditions. A giant nutcracker may be looking for a skull or two to clamp down on. The Winter Witch and Jack Frost himself will be celebrating as well, and they may not take too kindly to you interrupting their festivities. And just when you think it's all over, beware of the New Year's baby, he's cranky. So this one sounds like it's going to be pretty cool. They gave us a brief description, I remember, like earlier this year, from Holidays from Hell, what we would be seeing in the maze. So if anything, what we've kind of already heard and seen from last year, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how this is going to play out in the scare zone uh, when you exit Holidays from Hell. Um, I really enjoyed the little uh, ending they did for Universal Monsters last year, which was another scare zone that they did, um, and that was pretty cool. It was like a masquerade ball party with all the monsters and stuff like that. And I thought it was really cool, so I'm, I'm excited to see how they're going to end this maze this year. The next one is a returning one, which was there, I think, last year and the year before, which is called Toxic Tunnel. Um, it's the tunnel that leads from, of course, the Mummy Queue all the way to the back lot. That's how you get to the Metro Set mazes. And this one goes as follows. Yes, if you wish to experience the mazes on, the, on our Metro Sets, you have to go through the toxic tunnel once. Uh, you have to go through the tunnel once again. This time, the warped and cartoonish members of a demonic custom car club have taken over, and they don't plan on letting you get uh, very far on foot. 
So this one looks pretty cool. They look like they're uh, they're dressed up in like street racers and stuff like that, and they're wearing like some masks and stuff, but they looked all deformed from, of course, the toxic tunnel. So we're gonna see this one return again. This one's a pretty fun one that transports you from, of course, the mummy queue to the back lot. It's a little something in between that way you're not just walking in the dark. Um, I'm very excited to see how this one's gonna turn out. So uh, we'll see uh, what toxic tunnel brings this year. And of course the last one is All Hallows Eve and this one is going to be of course the scare zone in the metro sets to get back in those three mazes um, where holidays in hell was last year. And this one goes as follows. Halloween isn't the only holiday that happens this time of year. The Celtic festival of Huktuna is celebrated on October 31st as well. There's also All Saints Day followed by All Souls Day and of course Mexico's Dia de los Muertos. All of which uh, share the season which, with the centuries old uh, uh, Gaelic uh, festival of some Han. Some Han celebrates our uh, transition into the darker months at the end of the harvest season. The souls are of the dead are thought to return home on this night and are welcomed with costumes and bonfires. Some say the costumes were actually intended to protect oneself from the utterly world beings. Here's hoping they're relatively, uh, relatively uh, peaceful during the visit. Um, so this is going to be the last scare zone that we're going to encounter. Of course, this is going to get you back to the metro sets of three mazes back there. So this one sounds pretty good. Uh, the concept art looks really cool, and I like the kind of idea how they're kind of going outside of Halloween, and they're just kind of getting the holiday in between Halloween and then, uh, November, which is Dia de los Muertos, All Souls Day, and stuff like that. I'm very excited to see what these scare zones are going to bring up. They said there's one more. They are going to, I think they're going to announce for, I think they're bringing back the um, scare zone right there where Jurassic World and stuff is, I think. I'm not sure, because Murdy said he has one more that's like, kind of like an unofficial scare zone, but he hasn't announced it yet. I think he's waiting to announce a maze for that. And if it is what I think it is, I'm hoping it's Killer Clowns from Outer Space, so we get a scare zone and um, the maze would be cool. And if they put the scare zone where, of course, Jurassic World starts and where Transformers ends, that would be a really cool area for it, in my opinion. Um, but, Nonetheless, I'm very much looking forward to seeing uh, the Scare Zones this year, and I can't wait to see uh, what they have in store. Leave in the comments below what you guys think about the Scare Zones and um, which one you guys are most excited to see. I'm the Knights of Horror, uh, Anthony, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching that video. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys liked my content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to keep you notified every time I post up a new video. Follow me on Twitter, at Knights of Horror. Follow me on Instagram at The Knights of Horror, and I also do a little side project with my friend Adam from The Theme Park Pass. I film a lot of videos for his construction updates and stuff, so go check out that channel as well. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.